Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Right In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and enable XRDP, which is a remote desktop protocol that allows you to use the uh, Microsoft RDP protocol to get access to your Linux machine with a desktop or a graphical user interface. Right, so let's uh, first connect to my Linux server in the cloud. Okay, so if you have not seen my tutorial on how to enable SSH key login, you might want to check it out. So I'm going to log in using SSH key, uh, using accounts and instances that I'm going to delete shortly. So let's first uh, log in. Okay, once I'm in, let's just make a check on who am I, what are my ID group. Okay, so I'm in the suitable group, so that's good. So first, uh, you can check out my website. Okay, so uh, over here, I have basically copied down all the steps that you need to uh, install the servers and the additional steps to uh, add the user to the uh, SSL cert group. Right, so very simply, uh, you need a GUI. Uh, or lightweight desktop environment installed in a Debian server. Uh, you can use any Debian uh, GUI, right? Genome and etc. Right? Uh, to just make sure that you have enabled um, GUI capabilities for your uh, Debian server. Right? So it's pretty straightforward. You can go to my website, copy the uh, command like I've just done. Okay, and then um, paste it in right so it's, okay so enter your password for sudo okay and you can see that you start to install the dependency depending on the internet connection speed it should be quite fast okay you can uh, use the default settings okay once the installation complete we can now install XRDP. Okay, likewise, the command to do this is to do sudo app install XRDP. Now, of course, uh, you can do an update before you do this to get it up to speed. But, uh, you know, for, for me, I've already done my update, so I'm going to just install XRDP. Now, let's do a quick check to see whether it is active. Okay, we can see that it is active, right? Uh, but however, if you want it to be persistent, right? Uh, it gets started whenever you restart your Linux machine, you can issue this command. Okay, I will add that into my tutorial shortly in my website. Uh, enable XRDP. Okay, you will see that a symbolic link is being uh, created. All right, let's just double confirm the status. Okay. As you can see now, it's active and running. Now, if you have a firewall running in your Linux machine, uh, and if you have UFW like what I have, you can do a check on the ports that are open. Right, you can see that currently I only allow port 22. Right, so let's do a quick uh, validation. Right, so without the firewall port open, I should not be able to RDP into my machine. Right, so let's just create. IP address Debian XRDP through UFW. Okay, let's add this in. Okay, it's in my safe PC. Let's save this. Okay, now if I try and initiate this, you 
you can see that the init the connection will fail. Okay. Now, if we just look at the quick um, check of the logs. Okay, I need to do sudo. Okay, you can see that um, you know I'm blocking access to three three eight nine right from machine. Okay, you can use this to double confirm and check uh, what is the IP address and port that's coming in. And as you can see, the firewall is doing its job by blocking uh, unauthorized scanning or you know. Um, cyber criminals trying to uh, you know get access to your cloud server so it's always important to have a firewall installed okay so let's uh, enable the firewall to allow for the uh, RDP connection used through 3389 so default XRDP uses uh, port 3389 okay the command to enable um, UFW is quite straightforward you can do a sudo UFW allow 3389 right you can use the uh, name app application name that is uh, defined or you can just use 3389 so do that and then you can see that um, what is the okay you can see that you have the view allowed turn on just make sure that it's Okay, you can see that it's now uh, enabled. So now let's try and do a RDP again. And you can see that you'll be prompted. Okay, and uh, if you are logging in for the first time, you'll prompt you for the password again. Right, to manage uh, the device, right? Uh, once you're authenticated and you are in, right? So uh, for those of you who uses uh, Kali and other configuration, now you'll be able to, um, you know, run your application through using the GUI interface, right? And you can troubleshoot what is failed to execute default web browser. Interesting, you can always uh, fix all these things as you go along. Okay, over at the application side, I can see my office, my multimedia, etc. Okay, well, we'll take an Maybe I'll do another tutorial to fix the web browser issue. Uh, but as you can see, now we have a GUI interface into Debian. Now, if you have a Kali in the um, web instance, you can do a similar step to allow for uh, XRDP to your Linux instance in the cloud, right? So that's how easy it is to install XRDP and also allow port 3389 through the firewall. Now, if you are uh, a little bit more tech savvy and you would like to do a little bit more uh, um, customization by you know allowing some of this application to be tunneled through SSH uh, I'll show you in a future tutorial on how do you configure SSH for uh, forward, uh, um, forward port or forward tunneling right uh, SSH 
you know, forward port tunneling or um, SSH reverse port tunneling, right? So those are useful for security uh, practitioner who wants to understand, learn some of the SSH capability, which um, in the cyber world, a lot of cyber criminal actually use that to hide or to bypass the firewall protection, right? So it's always good to understand, right? Whether it is you're using it for your own lab use or you are doing it to understand how, you know, the cyber criminal are using some of these features to bypass uh, firewalls and protection, right? So stay tuned for the next video for that. Okay, so that's all uh, for today. Thank you and stay safe.